New Year's has brought some good updates to the game. So let's talk about the most important one. You now only need 200 adjuster coins to get the Raid Up Girl. Uh, the update could have contained that as its only change and I'd be happy. Uh, if you're perpetually unlucky like me, you've probably realized how awful the gotcha is in this game. Uh, with the reliance on having multiple slots and spooks being more useless than they ever were, uh, this is a much needed change. Uh, there's too many unlimited girls to ever spook your way to force slotting a girl reliably. So anyone that tells you that you should wait to get someone through a spook, you can call them a fool. Speaking of fools, after seeing the video title, you might think I'm one too for buying all the goodie bags, especially after saying the gotcha is shit. And my last video was a shit post about them making duos. Well, that's not entirely true. I just really love my majukas. And I'm an idiot. There's a difference. I'm not a whale nor a dolphin. I'm a bag man. I see bags, I buy bags. This 200 Mitama coin change is a big deal during this event too because you get 120 free rolls on the New Year's banner of your choice. So you only need to contribute 80 of your own rolls to get a copy of the Majuka from the coin shop. Uh, in the Freestone shop, you can buy two bags for, I believe, 250 Magia Stones each. It's basically buy one 10 roll, get one free. And uh, don't forget to get your Felicia Cal memo in the support point shop as well. So, yeah, the free bags aren't as amazing as the paid ones. But, hey, it's at least, you know, an easy 20 rolls you can get. Uh, I chose Mitama for this banner, and my strategy is simple. So far, I've managed to get one copy of her, which is important because even if I fail to get another with the rest of the rolls, I can still four slot her. I can get a second copy with the adjuster coin at 200, and I can get a third with the pick your limited Majuka banner uh, because she's one of the choices you can make. And the fourth, well, I can get by using the Super Gem if I really have to. Uh, I would rather save my Super Gem, so I'll only use it if I get desperate. Uh, I'll always plan around the fact I'll be as unlucky as you possibly can be. Or if you're just one of the people in my Discord, you'll just gotcha skill the Majukas you want easy peasy somehow. Mitama is probably the best esports choice here. She works great with Magia teams and her personal memo gives her Excel draw. So am I able to keep my Majuka hipster cred by picking Mitama here? Well, with Vampire Nagitan, I had a good excuse. She ended up being one of the most OP Majukas released, but I picked her because I love Kanagi. I can prove it too. There's video footage of me somewhere picking Kanagi three different times with the Pick Your Unlimited bags back on NA. I double dog dare you to find a single human being that ever picked her multiple times on NA. You won't. <laughs> I have a true Kanagi simp, and she is probably one of my only unlimited four slots on JP as well. Um, Sudachi being the other one, I believe. So picking Vampire Nagitan doesn't ruin my hipster cred. So what does this have to do with Mitama? Well, I thought long and hard about it because Blue Hair and Doka are great choices as well, but I decided I wanted to make a silver-haired sandwich. My Kanagis won't be so lonely anymore. Uh, this also helps keep Mizuna in check for whenever they decide to get uppity with their shit posts on anonymous image boards again. I mean, what? Where was I? Oh, right. I really just like having themed teams. I wish more Majukas had custom connects with each other, but I realized this would be difficult to balance. But after seeing their interactions with each other, there's always certain groups I always want to put together for challenges, even if they aren't the most ideal setup. It's why I loved using Team Azalea so much on NA. So let's talk about my unlimited picks, because I haven't decided yet. You get to choose two Majukas with this one, or I assume the same Majuka twice this time. I could use this to four slot Hagamun to unleash her forehead powers to the maximum, or I could use this to three slot Hana, the destroyer of NA. I really did pick Hana during the choose your single target Magia bag or whatever you want to call it. She didn't have an SC back then, but it looked like she was going to be getting one soon. And hey, she did. And it's really powerful. So sliding her makes sense for gameplay and not just for memeing. Now, the last choice I was considering is pure memory. This is the kind of shit you would expect me to do. Uh, I was thinking of picking June just because I like her story. And I feel she's a real underdog Majuka that people don't appreciate as much. Uh, I think she's fairly solid, but Water is one of the least needed slots because of how powerful the free options are. Yachio, Asuka, and Nanaka already can form a very powerful team, so picking a Water unit that I can only two-slot at best doesn't help me gameplay-wise, uh, outside of getting a lot of charge discs, I guess, which uh, Chinese Wolverine can do as well. As for picking memos, uh, I can't decide here either. I should probably pick the Kubi Anti-Evade memo because there still isn't great unlimited memo options for Anti-Evade. 
Uh, I pretty much just trust Nagitan to spank evade uses for me with her spirit enhancement. Uh, I kind of want to use my overlimit cores on a recent memo that came from the Felisuro Gotcha. It's a real oddball one. Uh, it's less damage than the Chuni Sword, but it gives a crazy amount of defense at max life. This is one of those dumb memos you could never plan around because so few people will ever have this. Uh, but this can cause a Majuka to survive an attack that you otherwise wouldn't expect. Of course, you lose damage when you're not at full life, but... Just to mention, uh, Vampire Nagitan gets to survive because of this, and you'll be cursing this memo. Really, uh, don't take my advice on this. I don't even know if it's really that good, but this is the kind of shit I would pick just to troll people in mirrors, and I feel like maybe it'll be pretty good. Lastly, I want to thank you all for the support you've given me in the past year. It really means a lot to me. Uh, this marks almost a year I have been on YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, telling your friends, or at least the weeb friends, and uh, joining Discord or whatever. It would really mean a lot to me. I'll still be making Magi Rico videos in 2021 because I absolutely love this game, but I'll also be making Toho Lost Word videos soon. And uh, definitely... A few Neptunia videos, at least once the new game comes out. Uh, I'll try to make a more thorough update on my Magi Rico account later and a couple other new events. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.